Welcome back, everybody. 935. Scott Watson is here from uh, Watson's uh, Pharmacy and Wellness Center. And uh, I'll tell you what, we've got some questions on. Uh, we're, we've got Dora first. Doris first. Doris, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How good are morning. you? Very good. What's your question for Scott today? Uh, I wondered if there's a cream that can be applied to uh, plantar fasciitis. Uh, cortisone shots have not really corrected it okay. and uh, can't take into in, in, uh, inflammatories. So I was wondering if there was a cream. So is he allergic to anti-inflammatories? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so I've learned just recently about some interesting creams that we can make for plantar fasciitis mm -hmm. and uh, they include things like uh, anti-inflammatories, um, things like uh, Benadryl, so some antihistamines. Uh, but if somebody is allergic to the anti-inflammatories, so what we could possibly do is incorporate some nutritional agents that have anti-inflammatory activities okay. such as uh, MSM, glucosamine, we can talk to some doctors about that yeah. and mix it with something called the diphenhydramine which is the active ingredient in Benadryl. Right. And that could be a possibility for this individual. Have you uh, dealt with a lot of cases of plantar fasciitis? Quite a bit. Quite a because bit. it's we, uh, common and I know I've been through it too and, and it's, it's one of the most painful things in the world. And it's very hard to treat. And yeah. it's, you know, it's almost just a combination of rest again. We're just yeah. getting through a period of time to... i tell you what helped me, Scott, and I, you know, I don't prescribe, I don't know anything about it, but it's just something I tried. Yeah. Someone told me about it, is freezing a water bottle okay. and then rolling it while you're just oh. sitting there uh, watching television or enjoying this fine television program. Uh, and then rolling it and stretching out your yeah. uh, that tendon uh, while you're rolling it. And you know, man, oh man, it was helpful. With any inflammation, doctors will talk about hot and cold therapies. Yeah. And that is just a good cold yeah. therapy that's very good for that. Um, the I think the rest as well, it's just a period of time people have to give that break. It's and hard then, to shake it though. But there's also giving some kind of medicine or nutritional product that yeah. can take away some of that inflammation as well. So mm. many, many ways to skin the cat. So Andrew is on the telephone next. Andrew, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you today? Pretty good today. <laughs> um, I went to my doctor. I had hives sometimes and my lip swells up from allergies and she sent me to an allergist and he said I'm allergic to all fruits and vegetables. Holy oh smokes. My goodness. Not, as, not as much when they're cooked, small amounts, but right. all fruits and vegetables. So how do I get my daily vitamins? And <laughs> I've been taking Insure, but I'm not... I'm not sure if that's uh, right. plant well, you know, there, you know. There are some question. interesting mixes out there. It could be, you know, it's hard to imagine that you'd be allergic to all the vitamins and minerals that are very, very good in uh, uh, the fruits and vegetables. And How is somebody allergic to all fruits and vegetables? I, I don't know, but I guess it could be a component that's common across all the right, products. Right. So what I would suggest is, um, you know, there's some interesting mixes out there. They're called uh, meal replacements. I think you've found in sure, but there there are many that you could mix into smoothies that contain uh, nutrients as well as multivitamins and probiotics. Uh, if you came to my pharmacy, I could show you a couple different brands that yeah. uh, could be suitable for you. Andrew should go down to see you. Yeah. See so you and also, I mean, gosh, just. Do some experimentation with um, and try to find the vegetable that you're okay with. You yeah, know, and just yeah. find the foods That's that you're strange. okay with. I've never heard of that. I can't say as I've heard of that. So. No. All right, Andrew, uh, hopefully uh, Scott can help Good you luck, out. Andrew. Go down and see him. Um, Kelsey is on the telephone. Hi, Kelsey. Hi. How are you today? Not too bad yourself. Very good. Uh, what's your question? Yes, um, just recently being diagnosed with some gout, gouty arthritis. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering, instead of taking something orally, I, do you recommend something topically? You know, gout is... It's, what it's an awful have, name, by the way, the gout. Is. And what we, it's, we have to focus in on getting rid of this uric acid that gets into our joints. And I don't know of any topical formulas that are good for gout, other than, you know, we can just... For some people, just treating the pain and getting rid of that inflammation uh, with something like an anti-inflammatory, a stronger version of aspirin. Uh, so something like that put into a cream could be possible if you had gout in your fingertips per se. Right. But if you had, it's in a lower joint where it's a little bit deeper underneath the skin, it might be better to do something orally and there's different types of anti-gout medicines. Uh, but I think she just has to find something that's 
going to be tolerable. So it depends on where the gout is, and it also depends on just how much uric yeah. acid is in there. Yeah. So. Very interesting. Uh, we had um, well questions from uh, yeah. all over the place today, yeah. which is which is great because these are things that um, uh, people can ask you about instead of going directly to a doctor or in conjunction with a in doctor, right? Absolutely. Uh, they can certainly ask you questions. Maybe you can whip up uh, a compound that will work for them in whatever shape or form it comes in. Absolutely. Very interesting though. And then the last thing you had that you can, uh, you can actually get dosage by what? This is our, a new little system that we've kind of uh, found out about and that we're incorporating into our practice. And it's called a twisted dose. Yeah. And so one thing that we do is help cats and cat owners treat their <clears throat> cats with something called uh, uh, methimazole. Yeah. And it, it's a medicine that can help keep uh, the thyroid in check for cats. Right. And uh, so some cats are very hard to pill, like I'm sure a lot of cats are, but some yeah. are good. Uh, if you do find that uh, your cat is not taking medicine orally, you can actually get a medicine across the ear. Yeah. And uh, this little device Put is just a ear. very simple way to get an accurate dose every time. Every time it's the same dose. So, mm. well, it's some wonderful. Might work on some kids. Hey. Scott Watson from Watson's Pharmacy and Wellness Center here on Ask the Experts. Scott, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a happy new year. Happy new year. We'll see you soon. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more of CTV Morning Live right after this.